Today, we're going to talk about single nucleotide substitutions. Before we go further, let's just briefly review what a codon is. So a codon is a sequence of three DNA or RNA nucleotides that corresponds to a specific amino acid or a stop signal during protein synthesis. Now, if you look over here, this is the codon table. So the codon table essentially tells you what codon gives you what amino acid. So for example, if you have UUU over here, that will give you phenylalanine. Now there are 64 different types of codons and 61 of them encode for amino acids. As you can see, there are three stop codons here. Now let's talk about what happens when one of the nucleotides in a codon changes. So we're going to talk about three different types of point mutations. You have silent mutations, nonsense mutations, as well as missense mutations. I'm just going to use this table up here as an example for all of the different types of mutations that you can have. To start with, let's start with silent mutations. Silent mutations are when the nucleotide substitution codes for the same amino acid. And usually, this change occurs when the base changes in the third position of the codon. And this position is called the wobble position. So as you can see right here in the silent mutation, originally you have TTC in the DNA level. RNA level is AAG. Now we change the last one from a C to a T. Now if we look over here on the codon table, we can see that AAG, let's find it over here, AAG, turning into AAA still gives you the lysine amino acid. So this is a silent mutation. The amino acid doesn't change, but the DNA nucleotide changed. So if the amino acid doesn't change, then the protein also does not change. As you can imagine, silent DNA mutations out of all of these causes the least severe DNA damage. Now let's talk about missense mutations. Missense mutations are when you have a nucleotide substitution that does change the amino acid. Missense mutations can be conservative or non-conservative. Now let's take a look at this. So before we have TTC, now we change one of them to TCC. So instead of lysine, you get arginine. Now let's take a look down here. We can see that lysine was the original amino acid that we had. Now we changed it to arginine. So this is called conservative because the amino acid is still similar. These are both positively charged amino acids. Now what if we change this lysine over here to a threonine? So as you can see down here, lysine is positively charged. If you change it into a threonine, threonine is uncharged. So that change is worse than a change to a similar amino acid. So a missense mutation can be conservative in which the amino acid that it becomes is similar to the one that it was originally, hence right here. And then it could be non-conservative, which the amino acid changes. So it could change from a positively charged amino acid to an uncharged amino acid. The classic example that you'll often see for missense mutations is sickle cell disease. So in sickle cell disease, you have a glutamate. Let's find it here. So glutamic acid, which is negatively charged. And that is replaced by valine. So let's find valine over here. And valine is hydrophobic. So you went from a negatively charged molecule to a hydrophobic molecule. And in humans, what this does is it essentially messes up the beta globin gene, which is in red blood cells, and makes it easier for red blood cells to burst. Lastly, let's talk about nonsense mutations. Nonsense mutations occur when the nucleotide substitution results in an early stop codon. So the stop codons are UAA, UAG, and UGA. 
I like to remember this as you are annoying, you go away, and you are gone. An example of this in real life is a disease called familial dilated cardiomyopathy, in which you have a deletion in certain genes that encode for proteins like Titan, which is a protein in the heart, and without this protein, this can cause heart failure. So as you may have guessed, the best mutation to have is silent because it really doesn't do anything to the amino acid. Um, the next one is missense, and then nonsense, and then a frame shift. So a frame shift is a deletion of one of these nucleotides, and then it messes up everything afterwards. To sum it up, silent mutations, you have the same amino acid. Missense mutations, you change the amino acid. Nonsense mutations, you change the amino acid to an early stop codon. And then frame shift, you delete a nucleotide, and that messes up everything after it. That sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.